Okay guys, what is up? My name is Kristen, aka Increase Blue. Uh, that's my username I use for my blog, which is known as the pause button, and this is my first ever uh, audio streaming what have you. And the whole reason I decided to do this is because I hate uh, doing videos, and uh, also just because I wanted to share some of my thoughts on devastation. Um, I didn't want to kind of clutter up the blog post with it, because the blog post really gets into the nitty gritty of you know, where it's going to be at, what kind of games it has, and all that different stuff, and I really kind of wanted to share my feelings with Devastation, my experiences with Devastation, so maybe um, <clears throat> any other gamers that are interested might, you know, kind of be like, well, I'm kind of on the brink of going to Devastation, but I don't know, I really haven't heard much about it. This is where you're going to hear it. Gamer to gamer, you and me, right here, right now. Um, to start off, you know, for those of you that haven't read the full blog post yet, my uh, Devastation is a huge AZ gaming uh, event, and I mean, by huge, I'm not exaggerating. It is big. It is got, you know, it's got like, you know, over 17 different games, 22 different competitions so far. They're still adding stuff. Um, hundreds of different players from all around the country and the world come in, and everyone plays, and it's, you know, three days of just fun, intense gaming. You know, that's what it is. Um, but one thing that I wanted to kind of do was share my feelings and, 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 you know, my experiences on Devastation because I feel like, you know, a lot of people, as I said, don't really know a whole lot about it. They know what goes on there, but not necessarily, you know, personal experiences, people suggesting it, you know, no one has heard it to that point. So that's uh, kind of what I'm doing here. Um, the first year I ever went to Devastation was last year, uh, which is uh, 2009. And um, it was something that I had never done before. I had done small competitions before, like, you know, 10, 20 people, that'd be about it. But I had never really done something to that caliber where there's hundreds of different people and you have so many different competitors and tons of different games. And so it was really kind of exciting, but also very daunting for me. And um, I don't consider myself to be a very high-level player. In fact, I consider myself to be a very low-level player. <laughs> and uh, the games that I do uh, play a lot in are fighting games, and that's got a lot of high-level competition in it. So kind of going into Devastation, I was really nervous, and it was very daunting because it's, you know, tons of high-level players that people know from EVO and uh, huge, you know, Street Fighter National tournaments and stuff, and I'm this, you know, kind of nobody. And so, I, you know, I won't deny it was very, very uh, nerve-wracking going into it, but that's what I love about Devastation. Right off the bat, I felt like I was welcome. The crew that was, you know, running registrations and everything, they made sure that, you know, I had everything I needed. Everything was really open. They were directing me, saying, you know, hey, if you want to play Tekken, it's over there. You want to play, you know, um, what was this, Soul Calibur, it's over there. Go ahead and go to the setups, check out our booths. If you have any questions, come see us. We're totally going to help you out. And so, I mean, that was just, first of all, just a great impression of, you know, the entire people running the event. Kind of very refreshing and, 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 you know, comforting to some level. And so, I, you know, went and played a lot of different games. And, and one thing that I was just really, really surprised about was that there was a complete and utter lack of uh, trash talkers, which was really kind of nice. I mean, you know, uh, there was, like, trash talking as far as you know, uh, funny and, and, you know, in a playful sense, but not, like, completely and utterly bashing people. And, and actually, the people that were running the event, the Devastation Crew people, were actually not standing for it. Um, if somebody was kind of getting out of line, they would kind of check them and say, hey, you know, act right. And, um, and that was something that was also really nice and comforting. Not to say that I can't take a little bit of trash talking, because I totally do. Um, but it, it was kind of nice that a level of respect was absolutely and utterly, you know, maintained the entire time. And, you know, and, and that that was very true for every game I was in, you know, if I won or if I lost, and most of it was losing, but, um, you know, it, every, every match ended with a handshake, began with a handshake, hi, nice job, you know, you know, you did a good one there, you know, just constantly just positive feelings, which I thought was just really great since I had this horrible image in my head that, you know, people were just going to start laughing at me as soon as I just, you know, lost a round. <laughs> and so and that was something that was really great. And, and also, I point out my blog post a little later on, is that uh, it's a great social environment. And even going along with that was that you always had a sense of community or being a part of something uh, during Devastation. You never really saw a whole lot of solo gamers that would just 
kind of go off, do their own thing, come in, not say a word to anybody, play their match, and then leave. You know, that was something that wasn't, you know, very uh, present at Devastation. Um, you know, one shiny example I really want to say is that, you know, there was uh, two particular players that were playing um, Tekken 6, and uh, I want to say it was Mad Dog Jin and Filthy Rich. Uh, I'm pretty sure at some point they had played, but it, was, uh, it wasn't during the actual tournament. It was, it was during, you know, uh, prelims or whatever, but they were playing... And all of a sudden, the MC just, you know, shouted on the microphone, you know, Mad Hype, they're playing right now! And you just saw tons of people rush over to Tekken, and they're crowding around the screen, and, you know, every slightest move that they had during the match was just, you know, subject to oh's and ah's, and, you know, like, I can't believe that happened! And it was just crazy, and you had this great sensation of being a part of something like you were excited to be there even though you weren't playing you were excited because you know something was going on and everyone was getting into it everyone was you know really kind of having that fun feeling and so i think that that ultimately is what the devastation crew uh you know wants to go after i know um paul and rob who are kind of i guess the main main guys that run devastation and do all that I, you know they the whole devastation crew really wants to have that feeling and that sense of community and being a part of something and just having fun um you know absolutely to the to the last point you know whatever you get out of devastation they hope that you come together and have fun because that's all that they really want and i think that they do accomplish that to a certain extent in devastation i mean of course gamers are there to um, compete and to, you know, obviously win some money, but also I think that it's a great, great place, you know, where tons of gamers can come together and, you know, have that sense of being in a group and being in a, in, in, you know, a community and being a part of something. And so that is kind of my feeling on Devastation. I feel like uh, it's something that if you haven't experienced, you should definitely try. And, you know, like I said, if, you, if you've if you ever had that kind of situation to where you're playing a bunch of games and your friends are kind of becoming boring competition, or you and your friends even think that, you're like, wow, we should really try and see how our skills match up to, you know, another team or something, try Devastation. Because I guarantee you, once you go and you experience it in, you know, the entire feeling you will be hooked. And I am very, very glad that Devastation is in its sixth year, and it's going to be at the Phoenix Convention Center, as I mentioned, and you get into the nitty-gritty in the blog post. And I'm very glad to say that I will be going to 2010's event, and I'm extremely excited about it, and so I hope that if you have gone, that you will be there, and I'll see you guys there, and if uh, you haven't gone, but you're thinking about it, or you, if this is the first time you ever heard about it, that you will go, and you'll at least give it a try. So, with that very, very long and confusing thing of comments, uh, my name is Kristen Behar, aka Increase Blue. Check me out on Twitter anytime you want, Increase Blue. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you at Devastation. <laughs>